Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. In today's video, we'll be going over scalar multiplication of matrices. You might already know that we can multiply matrices together, but it's a complicated process and we're not talking about that just yet. Instead, in this video, we're talking about multiplying a matrix by a real number, which is called scalar multiplication. So for example, here's a simple two by two matrix. Let's suppose we multiplied this by three. In the context of matrices that contain real numbers, a simple real number all by itself is called a scalar. And that, of course, is why this is called scalar multiplication. We're multiplying a scalar by this matrix. So what do you think is going to happen here when we multiply this matrix by a scalar of three? You might think that the most natural way to define this operation would be to multiply each entry in the matrix by the scalar. And you would be right. That is how we define scalar multiplication. So three multiplied by this matrix gives us another matrix with the exact same dimensions. And the entries are two, actually I'll write it like this, three times two, and then three times four, and then three times five, and then three times six. So when we multiply a matrix by a scalar, we get a matrix with the exact same dimensions, just multiplying each entry by the scalar. So finishing this up, let me move this to the left and we'll write what this matrix is equal to. Three times two is six, three times five is 15, three times four is 12, and three times six is 18. So when we multiply a matrix by a real number, that is called scalar multiplication. And to carry out this operation, all we have to do is multiply each entry of the matrix by the scalar. I think it's pretty intuitive. And I'll also point out that the order does not matter. It's pretty natural to put the scalar before the matrix, but you could also put the scalar after the matrix. For example, let's say we had this uh, three by one matrix, entries one, two, three, and we could multiply it by a scalar of negative two, and this would work just the same way. We multiply each entry in the matrix by the scalar of negative two. So this is going to give us one times negative two, which will be negative two, two times negative two, which will be negative four, and three times negative two, which will be negative six. So when we're dealing with real numbers, scalar multiplication is commutative, just like normal multiplication, where we can change the order that we're doing the multiplication in and it doesn't matter. So if for this example, we had written negative two multiplied by that same matrix with entries one, two, and three, we would get the same exact result. So that's how scalar multiplication with matrices works. You can multiply a matrix of any dimensions by a scalar. And to carry out the operation of multiplying a matrix by a scalar, all you have to do is multiply each entry in the matrix by that scalar. And remember that when we're talking about matrices that contain real numbers, a scalar is just a real number. So I hope this video helped you understand scalar multiplication of matrices. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description. Before it's such a bore, I sure could.